I appreciate this opportunity to visit with you by means of this video. Uh, since the Senate is in session the day that you're having the hearing in Brevard County. And uh, thank you for moving around the country and thank you for going to the Kennedy Space Center. Uh, it's very important to our people because as I said in the first time that I visited with you in your first meeting in Washington, uh, what you come out and recommend in this commission is going to be especially important because I think it's going to give the weight, your report, the weight for the president to make the decision because you all have the credentials. And so I'd, I'd like to iterate a couple of other things. Uh, first of all, we've just had the 40th anniversary celebrations of Apollo 11. And on that occasion, I, with others, was able to pass the Congressional Gold Medal for not only the Apollo 11 astronauts, but also John Glenn. Uh, hearkening back to the recognition that their accomplishments as part of the NASA team were extraordinary and symbolic for the pressing forward of this nation technologically. Although it was a different time and we were in the great space race with our mortal enemy, the Soviet Union, nevertheless, that technological achievement and having the resources and the will put together to accomplish that, starting with Alan Shepard, Gus Grissom, and then John Glenn's orbit, three orbits, and then on to the Apollo program. It produced a generation of math and science, a generation of engineers, of kids being so excited about the space program that they wanted to go into those fields. And that gave us the competitive edge uh, for uh, generations to come in a, in a global economy. And of course, it produced extraordinary spin-offs uh, that have improved our daily lives here on planet Earth. Now, why do I say all of this? I say it because it's important to keep that magic going. It's important for you to come out with the recommendations that does not starve NASA to death like it's been in the last decade, that does not uh, give the emphasis to NASA that brings us to the situation, a deplorable situation as we are now, where when we complete the space station, that the shuttle is gonna be shut down and it's going to be a, a four or five or six year gap before we have another human rated vehicle that can take our own astronauts to our own space station that we have spent a hundred billion dollars for and been the major reason that it has been constructed with our international partners. Don't make that mistake again. And I think you have within your hands the credentials to start turning this around because I think if you give a strong report, it is going to cause the Obama administration uh, to think long and hard before they would have lean out years as they have proposed in this last budget. On the other hand, if you propose budgets that will accomplish a great space program, it's going to enable people like me to be able to have a prayer session with the new administration to point out to them the advantages of the space program. Now, first of all, you clearly ought to get rid of the notion that I don't think anybody's taking seriously, that we're going to get rid of the space station in 2015. If we have built this station with our international partners and spent upwards of $100 billion on it and are just getting some of the main scientific instruments to it, as we will with the AMS, 
why in the world would we budget for shutting it down in 2015? Second, you need to definitely consider the fact that there will be potentially massive layoffs because of this ill-considered set of budgets that have occurred over the last decade that leave us to where we will not have a human rated vehicle that is in time for the space shuttle to be shut down. And therefore we have to rely on the Russians to get us to our own space station, uh, barring some uh, commercial venture such as SpaceX of being able to produce its vehicle for cargo and hopefully at a later date uh, also for human rated. So you've got to address that fact of layoffs that take away the corporate memory, the extraordinary uh, uh, wealth of information and experience in the launch teams and the design teams and so forth. And then as you look to the future, understand that we should not only fulfill President Obama's goal of being on the moon by 2020, but what is the real goal? The real goal is to send a human mission to Mars and to explore that planet and to continue to press the boundaries of the frontiers so that we understand this universe in which we are a part. Now it's my understanding that you are going to come out with two options within the President's budget and two options outside of the budget. I understand and I commend the chairman, Norm Augustine, for having said that you're not going to be constrained to stay within the president's budget. I thank you for that. And the initial instructions that uh, you received that you had to stay within the budget, I think were extremely ill-considered. And I don't think reflect the president's thinking. I think this president understands uh, almost in the mindset of President Kennedy uh, what this nation's space program can do for us as a people and for us as a people of humans on planet Earth. And so I implore you to let your creativity uh, come up with a recommendation of what you think is best for our American space program joining our international partners. And finally, I would say, as you know, I have the commitment from the administration that if we cannot get this next uh, set of space shuttle flights off in time by the end of fiscal year 2010 or by the end of calendar year 2010, that they in fact commit to flying out all of these space shuttle flights to complete the station and to equip it. Uh, there have been various uh, figures about what it would cost. I put in uh, the budget that we passed for 2011 an additional two and a half billion dollars. Some think that you could continue to f fly the shuttle uh, each year for an additional $1.7 billion. Whatever it is, I wish you would consider extending the shuttle to a point in time that would lessen the gap so that uh, we could have Americans riding American vehicles to get to our station, and then on to the moon, and then on to Mars. Thank you for letting me share these thoughts with you, and thank you for your public service.